Hey guys, welcome back to Rico Now, and this is the part 4 series of how to build a Google Assistant app. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make much more interactive element uh, in your Google Assistant uh, with something called SSML, uh, which is something similar to HTML and uh, not similar, kind of the code is similar, but uh, it's entirely different uh, purpose of HTML. So SSML, this is something called a speech synthesis markup language where you add audios or videos to your assistant app and make the assistant app much more interactive with the users. And, the, and on the screen right now you can see the fast forwarding video of the last video which I uploaded, the intermediate course of how to build a Google Assistant app and using the dialog, dialog box. So you guys don't need to worry about this screen right now if you are a beginner or something you can watch my previous two videos so you will get an understanding of what I'm going to do right now. So the purpose we are going to do right now is, to, is like adding much more interactive elements much more sound elements to your Google Assistant app. For this uh, you need to go to your Google Actions on uh, Google console and uh, there you can see something uh, which you have already created. And if you want to edit or uh, uh, the existing application then it's all, all totally fine you can work on it or if you want to build something new then also it, it's for, for you guys so I told you this is a continuation of the previous video so you can refer my last video for this purpose and yes so here I am in my simulator working with my previous uh, previous app so I'm uh, typing talk to my test chat so it will show something which I set in dialog flow like uh, it will ask you about uh, whether we need to continue with our uh, tips or if you want to exit the tips. So my purpose is like adding some kind of voice interaction between, between that or adding some smooth noise uh, which won't disturb or which keeps the user interacting or uh, something like that for this you need to go to your dialog flow and open your console and it, you can see there are already four intents which I created and now I want to add some sound elements before the user proceed to the app so for that you can go go to responses and in the default section you have to delete that and on the next tab there will be a Google, Google assistant and from the Dropbox you have to select the simple response and here you go there is a code you have to type to speak then audio SRC uh, in between the URL of the audio will be coming and you need to close the audio SRC and you need to close the speak the code will be there in the description box so you people don't no need to worry about it and uh, make sure before or uh, before you closing speak you need to write something like uh, welcome to my app and there comes the audio src where and when you want to play the audio then you can keep the audio src at that moment and once your audio is closed audio tag is closed then you can print something else so after the audio stop you can play something so now is the time for to get uh, really interesting music so google has already set uh, set of uh, sound libraries in there so you for that you need to top right corner of the google actions console go to the all doc section then build then you can see something called ssml so and there will be a sound library in that sound library there will be a lot of categories so you can select whatever categories you want then yes you have to copy the link and you have to paste the link in your uh, dialog flow src space so you need to go back to your dialog flow paste your link over there click on save and as usual uh, you need to update this on your actions so for that you need to click on the right side integration bar and click on google assistant that's all you need to do right now now if you play or if you play your app in your simulator then it's gonna really work for you guys so that's all about how to build uh, in a voice app much more interactive way so this is something interesting right so you can add a lot of functions like this uh, so uh, i created this video for a beginner 
so there will be lot of things you can do with the SSML code uh, I didn't really go much deep into the SSML code uh, and the series will be continuing um, in the upcoming days so people can stay tuned to my channel or subscribe my channel for that purpose so um, as of now the SSML code which I show is uh, very simple like uh, an uh, opening speak and opening audio then uh, closing audio then again closing the speak and between write something else so this is what um, I'm, I, I'm, I did really right now and uh, actually this was a for beginners as I told you and if you want to learn more stay tuned and subscribe to my channel and once you done or adding the simulate or adding the audio to your google session app then it's time to publish your app for this uh, f uh, if you are a beginner if you don't know how to publish your app you can refer my previous video or you can um, post my video post my current video and uh, watch the scene one by one so that's all about uh, how to publish an app with a more much interactive way using the SSML language so next part we will be learning something with the Google Code Labs so this will be the part 5 series of Google Assistant app so you can prettily quickly move to the advanced section so that will be the advanced section part 5 series session 1 so yeah so thank you guys uh, signing off Sanjay